first race of the finals between ladies and gentlemen in the blue sails, yellow pennies, and Newport Harbor Yacht Club, Tiller Torrid's Trouble in the pink sails and the black and white pennies. 30 seconds left to go. So after two preliminary round robins and two gold round robins, these are your top two teams. Here's Tyler Sinks and Lucy Wallace down here at the pin end, right on the line, just barely cleared. And all clear as we head up wind. Halfway up the beat and Tiller Torrid's Trouble starting to assert dominance here with a 1-2 in the middle. A little bit of a dial down here. But Tiller Torrid's Trouble still potentially with the 1-2. If those top two boats can tack, they can still get to the mark first, but they're being pinned out to that side. It's going to be Tiller Torrid's Trouble. Chris Barnard around first. Green flag for that and quite a turnaround for ladies and gentlemen on the top of this beat. Now around mark two. On the left side, Barnard has given up the one. He figures he's got to get involved here and do something or they're just going to sit there and watch ladies and gentlemen two, three, four it all the way around the course. protest here and from the lead boat that looks like Justin Law, Adrian Patterson protesting Bissell and while it's green flag Bissell already spinning a 360 and that's going to be a 1-2-6. Tyler Sinks on the other side for ladies and gentlemen and that's going to do it a 1-2 and a point on the board in the finals. None of the other results count so it's now 1-0 Second race here for the standoff for third place. This is between Minor Threat in Aqua and Jetlag in Green. The winner of this series places third overall. Off the line, Jetlag winning all three pairs and trying to keep them even as they move up the course. Spectators enjoying the tacking duel on the left side. Silver Fleet going wild over here. Jet lag spreading it out as they move up to the top mark. A little catamaran action coming up through the course. On the downwind, jet lag still with a 1 2. Mateo Vargas has given up the 3 but still has an ace. Meanwhile, behind we see Newport Harbor 901 picking up a win in their match against the Keen Street Knights. So that's two wins in a row for Newport Harbor 901 Club and they are your fifth place finishers at the Hinman. Keen Street Knights in sixth. On the final leg here, jet lag wrapping it up a 1-2 as they head to the finish taking their second of two wins and third place overall. Minor Threat finishes fourth. Ladies and gentlemen in pink and wearing the yellow pennies since they are the regatta leaders coming into today. Tiller Torrid's Trouble in blue wear the black and white pennies. All clear. So Tiller Torrid's Trouble, two boats ahead of one on the left side. And already I hear them calling play two. They've conceded the one to both 13 on the other side. This is Chris Sagerblom with his hand on the boom, aggressively trying to slow down Justin Law and keep the two, three, four balanced. They want all of their team to arrive at the mark at the same time and keep the two boats in the five, six. They're gonna try to bust up this two, three, four. Can they get up and over? No. Barnard slowly squeaks around. Looked like maybe a little contact there. 
Barnard is just going to spin, so now it's a 1-4-5 and a winning combination for ladies and gentlemen. So this is good. We've got boats in and among the uh, anchorage. Beautiful Sunday afternoon in Newport Beach. And meanwhile, Barnard's still back here in the six. So ladies and gentlemen has held on. Benninger first to the zone. And Justin Law sneaks through the middle into the one spot. A protest coming from Menninger. <laughs> and Tyler Sinks couldn't have said it better. That was a changing moment in the race, guys. In fact, it was. Except that when it's all shaken out, it's ladies and gentlemen back in a 1-4-5. Just different personnel. Justin Law, now the point man. Tiller Torres Trouble putting the double team on Tyler Sinks, luffing those jibs and trying to close that gap. Things could be shifting in the direction of Trouble at this point. Let's see as the two sides come together in the middle. Where's the cross gonna be? We've got a starboard boat in boat 15. And that's going to clear out two of the trouble boats. Really a masterful job. Patient all the way to the end. Sailing faster and better position until it towards trouble. Evens the score here with a 1-2. Make that a 1-2-3. Quite a comeback. At the start, all clear. Trouble starting to come over the top on the right side and again leading on the left, losing in the middle. So this is where the race is, all these boats over above ley line. Tiller towards Trouble pinning. Ladies and gentlemen, going head to wind. So first boat's already around. You see Brian Bissell headed for Mark II, dipping everybody. Michael Menninger already around for ladies and gentlemen. So it's going to be Tiller Torrid's Trouble 1-3, and Sagerblom tacks around cleanly. A 1-3-6 for Tiller Torrid's Trouble. A 2-4-5 for ladies and gentlemen. Protest there for Tyler Sinks. and a green flag. Justin Law, Adrian Patterson in the back. So Tiller towards Trouble may be converting here to a 1-4-5. Hmm, interesting play there as you see Justin Law awfully down speed, green flag. They say he did all he could to avoid, but the move was just as effective as if it were a foul because uh, J Law now all the way in the back. And so Tiller Torres Trouble now has the 1 4 5, a winning combination. Well, Brian Bissell tried to mark trap there, but lets through one boat. And Michael Menninger now in the one for ladies and gentlemen. So it's a one for five, probably. And both of the ladies and gentlemen boats, Tyler Sinks and Justin Law, dropping back. And so now it's a two, three, four for Tiller towards trouble. So putting the finishing touches on here, it looks like it will be a 1-2 for Tiller towards Trouble, possibly a 1-3, but either way, a win for the hometown team here. 
So once again, two to one, Tiller towards trouble in the lead. 10 seconds left. Justin Law in boat three coming toward us at the pin end. We may have some boats over. Boat 13 was over and was blocking the view of the race committee from seeing if anybody else was over. So they will be the only boat going back. Opens the door here for ladies and gentlemen. Definitely pinning Justin Law in boat three, but the other two boats sailing clear up the middle until her towards trouble has to tack back to get to them. Power boat on the course, providing just a little obstacle there for Brian Bissell and Perry Emzik. As we're now three quarters of the way up the beat. And ladies and gentlemen, it's looking pretty strong here. The one, two around mark one for ladies and gentlemen. And after Bissell was over the line early, that gives them their ace in the hole. Round mark three, still a one, two for ladies and gentlemen, Justin Law. Getting into a shouting match with Brian Bissell. A lot of protests, all day long, in fact. And here comes the call, a green flag, no surprise there, and Justin Law is in the six, so a one, two, six for ladies and gentlemen. And it's one, two, ladies and gentlemen, all tied up now, two to two. As we go into first a redress hearing, then into the final race. After a quick redress hearing, the result is no change. The score stands two to two in the finals. This race will determine our winner. In the yellow pennies, we've got the regatta leaders coming into today, ladies and gentlemen. They've also got blue spots on their sails. With the pink spots, it's Newport Harbor, Tiller Torres Trouble, Zebra Pennies. 20 seconds left to the start. Chris Barnard and Katia De Silva in boat 14 leading in at the pin. They're being pushed by Justin Law and Adrian Patterson. Quick spin around there for Barnard as he bails and heads the other way. Nice start there for Justin Law. Ladies and gentlemen, leading on the left. Tiller towards trouble in control of boat two on the right. And in the middle, it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, as well. A couple of big double tacks here from Chris Sagerblom and Kayla McComb. Draw applause from the spectators. Sagerblom ducking everybody. Teammate Brian Bissell and Perry Emzik are pinning on the left. The crowd is going wild behind us. I don't know if you can hear it on the microphone. But some of the Silver Fleeters have hung around to see the racing and they are loving it. Big lead there and so it looks like a potential one-two. As long as ladies and gentlemen can keep it balanced, they should be able to round one-two. No ace at the moment. Chris Barnard, the only hope now for Tiller towards trouble. Lots of spectators on the other side as well. Newport Harbor filled with power boats this afternoon, enjoying the racing. Chris Sagerblom and Caleb Combs starting to work over the top, busting up the one two. So, a bit of a double team going on there. Meanwhile, the back pair also advancing, so the whole fleet compressing on this very long downwind leg to mark three. The breeze has come down a bit too as we're getting into the early evening. Beautiful Southern California Sunday. The 
Back pair no longer in the back. Ryan Bissell in 13, Justin Law in three, advancing on the outside. So Tillitore's Trouble takes the lead. As Brian Bissell is around the mark first, Justin Law second, and they're all looking back, waiting to see what the play is gonna be. Right now it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, with a huge advantage, a 2-3-4, around mark three, one protest pending. And it's a green flag. Ladies and gentlemen, very effective at keeping the race balanced. All three of the boats staying on the same ladder rung, keeping both 14 and 15 for Tillator its trouble in the back. Now Brian Bissell is starting to uh, think about a desperation move here. He gives up the one and attacks hard. But of course, the easy, obvious play there is to transfer from a 2-3-4 right into a 1-2. And uh, that's exactly what happened. So here comes ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Sinks, Lucy Wallace in boat two, Justin Law, Adrian Patterson in boat three, and in the back, Michael and Marla Menninger. As they cross the finish line here, they are your 2013 U.S. Team Racing Champions, winners of the Hinman Trophy.